Hello Disney family and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a series that I am very, very excited about. I told you I love Disney and Halloween and fall and everything that has to do with it. So today I'm going to show you how to do your own Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. This is a series, so there will be a few videos that I will let out that will show you different things on different aspects of your Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. I actually came up with this idea when I wasn't able to attend. I was on bed rest with my daughter. I was really sad, so I kind of needed to figure out a way to make myself feel better. And I threw myself a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. I invited my Disney enthusiast friends, and we had a great time. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make that very iconic Mickey Mouse pumpkin that you see on all of the lampposts as you walk onto Main Street in Magic Kingdom. They are beautiful and amazing and it is very inspired by this pumpkin. I cannot do the indentations and the Mickey face on the front, but I will do my best to show you how to make your own Mickey inspired pumpkin. Now later in the week, I will be showing you some Disney snacks, and I will also be sharing reasons why I love going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and why doing this was so important to me. All right, so let's start off with supplies. Here we go. Now a lot of these things I tried to pick up at the Dollar Tree so that it could be a cheaper option for you. I didn't want to make this too expensive, so this entire thing cost me less than $20 to make. So the very first thing are these oak leaves. It's a 50 count. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. And then I also got three, they're kind of tangled together, but three of these maple leaf garlands. And I'm going to use these to kind of wrap around the bottom. And I'll show you, I got a wreath form as well. So here's a wreath form. There it is. Also from the Dollar Tree, those garlands were also from the Dollar Tree. They're there right now. I tried to do this video early so that you could kind of plan ahead if you guys want to throw one at your house. Now these were the more expensive part. You can probably get them cheaper than I did. I got the whole thing for about $15. So I got these two little pumpkins and I had a coupon so I got them for 50% off. And then I got this large pumpkin. And I got it for about $10, but you may be able to find it cheaper if, I don't know, the area that you're in. So I got those three pumpkins that I just showed you at Michael's. So the only other thing I didn't show you was my hot glue gun, which I will be using as well. And scissors, because <laughs> you need scissors for everything. So I'm just gonna just cut off these tags. Okay, so first I'm gonna set this, these guys aside. Because I don't you know I'm gonna set them down. Because I don't need them right this moment. What I'm actually going to start with is oops, these little guys fell off, so I'm gonna glue them back on. But if you notice in the picture, they do have these little pumpkins on it. So when I saw this, I knew it was perfect for what we were doing. Because I want to be able to wrap them around this wreath form. Okay, we have three. So let's start with wrapping this first guy around. Now I will secure it with glue once I kind of get it all placed how I want it. And luckily it's got these kind of fine things that help. But also make it very tangly. Now I'm 
time just placing them, like I said, we will actually glue them down once we are done. happy I think with the placement of everything you kind of look so this is holding as my base so really I'm just trying to get this kind of around and then pumpkins on, but I think I'm going to do them in just a second because I want to actually glue down So what I'm actually gluing, I'm not gluing the leaves, I'm gluing these kind of branch pieces down. Because you know you want the leaves to look leafy. And plus I will be gluing some of these leaves down. I said I wasn't gonna glue leaves, but I lied because I want them to be face up. Because they're much better that way. Now I think one of the nice things about this is that it doesn't just have to be for this party, you can use it year round. So that's pretty exciting to me. Because I'm going to. <laughs> sparkly leaves, am I right? So I say place them wherever looks like it needs a little bit of Disney magic. You know, like you can kind of see everything in here. I don't, want, I don't like that that's showing. How pretty are these sparkly leaves? They're so pretty. That's honestly what initially caught my eye about this pack of leaves. And they were only a buck, you guys. Like, you cannot beat that deal. Now what I'm doing is putting a line of glue and I'm gonna stick it on this actual branch. So it's, it still keeps kind of the flare of the leaves around. These are part of that, these maple leaves. So I'm gonna add just some filler kind of around the side here. And honestly, I probably could have done with just two of the garlands, but I wanted to be safe because, you know, you don't want to have not enough supplies, but for you guys to know, when you're buying your garlands, if you go to the dollar store, you probably actually only need two for this wreath form. I don't know about other wreath forms. I guess if you wanted to make like a bigger Mickey. Okay, I feel like I'm spending a lot of time on this side and I need a little more on this side. 
cover up the wire because that's not pretty. But I don't want to cover up the pretty leaves either. And I want this to look full. You don't want it to look like skimpy, right? Disney doesn't skimp. They're very generous. Yes, that's what we're gonna say. They're generous. We don't leave things looking unfull or unfinished. So neither are we. Okay, I think it looks pretty full. Oh my gosh, this would be like a beautiful wreath. Oh. I wasn't expecting that, but how pretty. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is make our Mickey pumpkin. Obviously, this is the staple. So, I gotta figure out where we're gonna put. And if you don't have a hot glue gun, I would suggest actually using, um, I would suggest using super glue. So I'm just using hot glue to stick this on. They look kind of like Princess Leia vibes. <laughs> Which I'm loving. Mickey Mouse dressed as Princess Leia. Right? Because it's Halloween, so he's got to have a Halloween costume. Now, if I were artistic, I would actually probably try and like draw a Mickey face, but I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm not that good. So, I won't do that. So, here's my Mickey. Now I forgot to glue this little pumpkin on, so I need to do that. It's very important that this pumpkin makes it on. Right there. And then what you do is you stick your Mickey in there. And we've got our Mickey Mouse inspired. This is the way he's supposed to go. Our Mickey Mouse inspired Main Street USA pumpkin. So now that we've finished with our pumpkin decoration, I wanted to leave below some of my favorite things about Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and that is Hallowishes, the Boo to You Parade, and the Hocus Pocus stage show. So I will leave my favorite things below, and it's a great thing to turn on your television while you're doing your Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. It's really fun to watch because it makes it feel like you're there. So I will leave my favorites of those linked below. I hope you guys enjoyed this Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Mickey Pumpkin tutorial as well as the ambiance and I hope you guys throw your own if you do please send me pictures I would love to see your own Mickey's not so scary Halloween party that you guys throw at your houses and I would love to know your ideas as well if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this please give it a thumbs up and if you have not joined my Disney family please subscribe I would love to see you back here and as always I hope to make your trip just a little more magical See you real soon. Bye guys.